be Sunday. Um, I am outside my pure bar class. I'm about to head in. It is 9.50. My class is at 10 a.m. Um, got a late start to the morning. Honestly, it was nice. We slept in until about 8. Um, I'm engaged. <laughs> if you follow my Instagram, you would know. But I got engaged um, in July. It's August 20th. Um, I will sit down at some point in this video and talk about everything, but I figured I would just do kind of like a Sunday in my life kind of thing. After I work out, I'm going to go to Wegmans and do some grocery shopping and we're going to do some meal prep today and just like a Sunday reset and I will talk about getting engaged. So yeah. Just got done with pure bar um it was a good class it was hard a lot of red double tube action um i'm going to oh man i i haven't eaten anything um which was probably not my smartest move before taking a workout class but i'm gonna eat this built bar it's a cookies and cream one i thought i grabbed the white chocolate cookies and cream one but i got the regular one um I have both at home. But yeah, I'm gonna eat this on my way to Wegmans and do some grocery shopping. I just got home from Wegmans, so I thought I would show you what I got from the grocery store. Um, first thing is some orange juice. Um, my fiance loves orange juice, so I get him that. Just put it off the side. Um, let me do this one first. Um, I got some eggs, even though neither of us really eat eggs. I have some bananas that need to be eaten or used, so I thought about making some banana bread. So I got some eggs for that. I got frozen extra fine green beans, frozen corn, frozen carrots, um, this corn, carrots, and asparagus mix. We rely a lot on frozen vegetables just because it's so easy. Um, the light, I can't believe it's not butter. I did get some deli pepperoni. Um, heavy cream. I love to have heavy cream on hand just for anything. Um, quick oats. I got some just peanuts peanut butter. So this, the ingredients is literally just dried peanuts or dry roasted peanuts. I got two cans of diced petite um, tomatoes. <gasps> Hi, my dogs. Hi, hello, hello. Have we shown Aspen on the channel yet? I don't know, Aspen. This is Aspen. This is our second sweet puppy. <gasps> Hi, Marlo. Hi. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And you guys know Marlo. This is Marlo baby. So he has a little sister now named Aspen. Mwah. Right? Are you guys being good? Hi. Hi. Let me film the rest of this. Um, I also got some meal prep containers because we really didn't have a lot of them. Um, we needed toothpaste and toothbrushes. Um, so there's that bag. I also, it's in the car, but I got um, a 12 pack of the Fairlife Protein Vanilla, the Core Power one. It was on sale at Wegmans, so that was nice. Bread for sandwiches and stuff. Um, they had black plums, which I love all stone fruit. And then I got some nectarines as well. And then my fiance specifically requested caramel macchiato coffee creamer. I got, I love these things. So the sparkling ice cherry limeade. So I got uh, four of those and then I love the Wegmans chicken, the air chill chicken. I got two packs of chicken tenderloins. Um, I think they're the best. 
and one pack was $8, the other pack was like $9. So really not that bad and it's good quality chicken because I'm, I'm really picky about chicken. So yeah, that's the grocery haul. I'm gonna put this away and um, yeah, get started on some meal prep stuff. So it's been a couple hours um, since we last talked and I showed you my grocery haul. I made some banana bread with the super ripe bananas that we had. This one has chocolate chips and this one is just plain banana bread. I'll link the recipe I used down below. Um, it's actually really good. And then I made those energy bliss balls or whatever. They were also really good and I will link that recipe below. Um, it made like 24 of them. It made a lot, honestly. And uh, yeah, so I will link that recipe down below as well. I also am marinating chicken. Uh, this is a bourbon maple sugar marinade. It's just one of those McCormick's packets. Um, and this is like two pounds of chicken tenderloins. That is being marinated for my fiance's lunch. He's gonna have that along with some green beans. And then for our dinner meal prep, this is also about two pounds of chicken tenderloin and this is a teriyaki marinade. Um, and I added some ginger to it and stuff. So yeah, that is, that's what I've been up to. I'm actually going to film, um, I'm actually going to film and talk about our engagement. Um, and then I'm gonna start making my fiance's lunch meal prep for the week. Um, I have to do a, like I'm doing a podcast interview thing at six o'clock tonight and it's 3.35. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping I can get a lot done by then and that'll be done. And then I can make dinner. And then Ace, my fiance, which is not, that's not his real name by the way. Some people think it is, but it's not. It's a fake name I gave him for being on here. Um, we're gonna take the dogs for a walk tonight and also he wants to try and run some like sprints or whatever at the soccer field in our neighborhood. So we're gonna see about that. But yeah, here is how we got engaged. So I am engaged. Hopefully you can see that. Um, this is the ring. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we got engaged on July 26th, 2023 in St. John, which is in the US Virgin Islands. Uh, we were on vacation there. I had no idea this was going to happen. My fiance for months and months and months was gaslighting me into thinking that he was not going to propose on this trip. And I believed it. I for various reasons, um, was like, yeah, there's, he's not gonna propose yet, maybe next year, I don't know. We actually went looking at rings earlier this year, probably in January or February, and this was one of the rings I tried on and ended up being my favorite, um, and the one that he got me. We went to, Mervis Diamonds in Tyson's. Um, and we, our consultant was Monica Park. She's amazing, definitely recommend. We had a wonderful experience there, just getting to try things on and get more information and stuff like that. Um, I do have like a, like a thing here because the ring fits, but it like twists around. It probably will need to get resized in a couple months, but I'm still losing weight, so I didn't want to resize it right now. Um, this kind of like, I don't know, spacer thing helps a lot and just keeps it l less spinny on my finger. Um, it's a platinum band and it is a diamond. Yeah, 
I love it so much. But yeah, so we went looking at rings earlier this year and he, unbeknownst to me, bought the ring in March. Um, it took about one or two months for them to make the ring. It's made in California, handmade in California. And then it's shipped back to um, their store. Uh, and they just kept it in the vault for him because he knew he started planning this vacation back in March as well and he just asked if they could keep it in the vault until literally he picked it up from their store the day before we left for vacation. Um, this is all what he's told me after the fact. Um, so yeah, we were planning this vacation back in March or something and I just thought it was going to be a really amazing beach vacation. Um, it was going to be really special, kind of our first big vacation, just the two of us. We've gone on vacations with his family and stuff. Last year we did like a nine day cruise in the Mediterranean. So yeah, we he proposed on the first full day that we were in St. John. We stayed in Peter Bay, which is um, a really nice neighborhood on the island and they have a private beach called Peter Bay Beach and this spot was really, really special to Ace and he knew he wanted to propose there. Um, he'd been to St. John before, I had not, so he wanted to bring me into this special place and kind of make it something special for both of us and I love that. Um, so yeah, we had planned, we were actually at that beach in the morning for probably three or four hours, just kind of laying on the beach, swimming, and no one's there basically. And then we decide to head back to our villa to change and get ready because Ace had, been, had wanted to go back down to that beach and take photos on the beach. Um, so he'd asked me to bring my tripod which I was like, yeah, sure, let's take pictures on the beach. That sounds fun. I love taking pictures. So I didn't really think anything of it, to be quite honest. And looking back, maybe I should have. It was probably pretty glaring that he was planning to propose. But I just, I think I had put it so far out of my mind because I didn't want to be disappointed if it didn't happen on the trip. But definitely a very small part of me was like, Oh, I wonder maybe it will happen, but I didn't want to be disappointed if it didn't. So I kept my expectations really, really low. And I think that was a huge benefit because I was so, so incredibly surprised and totally shocked, had no idea. And it was wonderful. Um, so we get ready. It's probably about two o'clock at this point. And to get down to this beach, um, you... We were staying in Upper Peter Bay, so you kind of have to drive down a little bit and park in this super, super small, tiny parking spot and walk down to the beach. Um, so in the morning, we had gotten a, a good spot. And when we went back to go take pictures, there was a work truck, like a, there was they were doing construction in one of the houses down there that was sort of like, in a driveway but kind of blocking the spot we had been in in the morning and we were both like oh crap like how like how, we can't fit in so i was just thinking hey let's you know drive around a little bit no worries and we'll come back it's not a big deal we can if we can't get pictures today we can always come back tomorrow little did i know he needed to get to that beach that day because he needed to propose he didn't want to wait um but we did end up driving a little bit around we went down and drove past cinnamon bay and maho um so we drove there we saw a donkey they have wild donkeys there which are so cute and then we drove back and we get back to the same spot and the work truck is still there and my fiance was like screw it get out of the car and help me back this 
cart into here. We're gonna fit, even if it's just for a couple minutes, like we're just gonna go and get pictures. It's fine, we're gonna come back, whatever. Um, like he was really, really, really insistent. And I was just like, okay, <laughs> whatever you wanna do. Um, so we were able to like maneuver our way into the spot without being in the way of the truck. So if they needed to leave, they could do that. We walk down to the beach, we're setting up the tripod. Um, I take a couple test pictures of him. He takes a couple te test pictures of me and he's at the camera and he's like, okay, um, move a little bit over to that way. I'm going to come stand and, um, we're going to take pictures together. And I was like, okay. And I, he like, I don't know. <laughs> Obviously when you set your phone on self timer, the, the camera like blinks. Well, he started walking over to me and it wasn't blinking. And I was like, did you set it on self timer? Like what? And he's like, yeah, I got, you know, and I, he's like looking at me in a very earnest way. And also another little backstory tidbit is that he has been fake proposing to me over the last year and a half of our relationship at random moments. Um, and so I was like, ha ha, he grabbed my hand and he's looking at me really earnestly. And I'm like, okay, yeah, you're so funny. You're joking. And then it, his look just further, I don't know. It's hard to explain like how he's looking at me, but it's just so, he seems nervous, but he seems like ready. And he goes, actually, this is my favorite place in the whole world. And as he's saying this, he's reaching into his pocket and he's pulling out the ring box. And I see the box, I look down at him and then I look back up at his face and I'm like, what? <laughs> what? He gets down on one knee and he asks, will you marry me? I of course say yes. He's all the while taking a video. My phone is videoing this. I'm not going to share the video because um, it's private and we just wanted to keep it to us and our families, but it's a really great video and I'm so glad he got it on video. Um, and it's funny, you can see like my hands are shaking. I'm like, what? This is crazy. And yeah, that's how we proposed. Um, it was super intimate. No one was on the beach. We had the whole thing to ourselves. It was... It was exactly the way I had hoped it would happen. And yeah, I'm so glad. Um, and so we're engaged and we're getting married in June of 2024. Um, we're gonna get married at my dad's house. We're gonna have the wedding and the reception there. That's kind of always been my dream. My dad lives in a beautiful spot on the water. And yeah, I don't know. It's just always been something that I've wanted to do so yeah we're just kind of in in the wedding planning process I've already found my dress <laughs> very exciting um yeah a lot is like already tentatively planned like we have a caterer we have I'm waiting for the photographer to send me like the deposit invoice or whatever um, we have rental, like tent tables, stuff rental for the day set up. Um, yeah, so we've, we've hit the ground running on a lot, which is good. Um, but yeah, that is, that's how we got engaged. And then, so that night we'll, this was probably like 2.30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon and um, we got we went back to our villa. We call all of our family and tell them all the happy news. Of course, they all knew. Um, and uh, yeah, it was just so it was so wonderful. And then he had booked us a really amazing dinner at a restaurant called Extra Virgin Bistro in St. John. It's in Cruz Bay amazing amazing meal it was like a tasting menu so you picked your first second and third course um and it was just amazing 
amazing, amazing. I, yeah, it was just the perfect like engagement celebration. We had so much good food while we were down there at the different restaurants. Pretty expensive, but definitely well worth it and such an amazing like engagement trip and something I will never forget and will cherish forever and ever. And we're actually gonna go back to St. John for our honeymoon. We're gonna do our honeymoon separate. Um, we're gonna get married in June of next year. And then I think we're gonna do our honeymoon in November of next year. Um, just because I'm going to have a lot of family and friends from Sweden fly in for the wedding and we're going to have a lot of out of towners too. So I didn't want to like jet off on uh, our honeymoon and this way, you know, we'll probably go to St. John at a better time of year anyway when it's cold here and it's pretty nice there. So that'll be good. But yeah. We're engaged, that's how it went, and we're so excited, we're so happy. Um, and we have two puppies, I showed you Aspen. I can't even remember if I showed you in a her in a video, I don't quite remember off the top of my head when my last video was, but it was probably before we got her. We got her in June. Um, they're both Shih Tzus, and she's a little, she's a little gremlin. She's a little gremlin. Um, love her to pieces though, she's amazing. Marlo loves her, but also only loves her on his own terms. <laughs> but they're really good together. So yeah, that is everything. Um, I will probably hopefully show you guys like the meal prep stuff. I think I'm gonna get on it. And uh, yeah, talk to you in the next clip. Okay, so this is what my fiance is going to be taking for lunches this week. Um, yeah, we just have some chicken tenderloins that have been marinated in a bourbon maple sugar marinade. It's just a McCormick's package um, that I used. I got it at the grocery store and then green beans that I sauteed and he'll have this Monday through Friday. Super easy. Um, I have some more extra chicken in here going, which will be good and I'll just keep that um, for like some of my lunches too. Here is what we had for dinner. Um, just a teriyaki stir fry. I'm weird and I like to do my chicken separate from my vegetables. So I cook the chicken separately and I don't like mix it together until it's in my bowl. Um, I did riced cauliflower, mixed veg, which is just green beans, carrots, and corn. And then the chicken, which I marinated in teriyaki. The cauliflower has some teriyaki. Um, so yeah, this was dinner. Um, I think this is what I'm taking to work tomorrow for lunch. And then we'll probably have this for dinner tomorrow too. I don't know. I haven't fully decided yet what I'm bringing for lunch, but it'll be either this or some of the leftover chicken that I made for my fiance, so. It is 8.30 and I just made myself some tea. I just finished packing our lunches for tomorrow for work. Um, dishes are done, laundry is done, um, workouts are done for the day. We did take the dogs to, um, we were gonna try and do some sprints at the soccer field in our neighborhood, but there were people using the soccer field. So the tennis courts were open. So we thought we would run, like do some sprints in there. And that, that actually worked out quite well. We had the dogs with us, um, they're pooped. Um, yeah, just ready for tomorrow and uh, the work week, so. I hope you guys enjoyed this Sunday in my life. I hope it was exciting or, you know, interesting to watch at least. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.